necessarily need anything more than six rounds for a for personal use if you want to go hunt and go hunting. Okay. But, you know, for weapons of war, like right. an AR-15 or, you know, anything bigger than that, specifically speaking, I don't think you need I don't think you need anything like that for sport. Okay. What about self-defense? I mean, don't you think one would do it? One, one round? Bullet? Yeah, don't you think one round would do it? For self-defense? Yeah. You better be a good shot. Well, okay. You better be a damn good shot for only one bullet in a gun. I mean, are, are, is more than one person going to rob your house? Absolutely. That okay. tends to happen, yeah. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Kamala Harris, fanboy gets owned. Okay, this is going to be amazing. Let's check this video out together. Have you guys been following the Democrats with the Democratic debate? Mm -hmm. Kamala Harris? Uh, I think she's. I think she's. Uh, she's got a, a bright future. Okay. Uh, I'd like to have her. Realistically, I'd like to see some real, some real concrete answers out of her. Okay. Uh, I haven't haven't heard anything concrete, but I think she has a bright future. So something that is concrete is that she would like to ban AR-15s mm -hmm. with the use of an executive action. Mm -hmm. If Congress didn't pass any type of gun control to do so mm -hmm. within the first 100 days of her taking office, mm -hmm. is that something you would support? Yeah, absolutely. I'd support that. Why? Uh, because those are weapons of war, and unless we're over trying to overthrow our government, we don't need them. So which branch of the military uses AR-15s? I didn't say that, that the branch of the military used AR-15s. I said they were weapons of war. Okay. What war did we use them in? Again, they're just weapons of war. So what is a weapon of war? What do, you, what do you put in that category? How do you name that category? Well, you know, any kind of weapon that you can use that you don't need to ex specifically, realistically reload every every six rounds. Uh, something that you can do mass destruction with um, that, you know, honestly, like uh, like an AR-15, where you can do mass damage in schools and mass damage to people in, in any other kind of war. Can you not do that with, let's say, a handgun, a Glock, a 1911? You can do any kind of damage with, with, with six rounds. That's why you only need six rounds. Why do you need... So we only need six rounds. I didn't say we only needed six okay. rounds. That's not what I said. You're okay. putting words in my mouth. Well, that's why I was asking. I'm not trying to put words in your no, no, mouth. That's I... why I, I clarified with you. I'm not saying, this guy said this. I'm, I'm clarifying, so mm -hmm. we're not fake news here. I didn't say that. Do you think that there should be only six rounds, or what's the limit for you? I didn't say anything about a limit. All I'm saying is, is that... Asked. Yeah, yeah, specifically, because we don't necessarily necessarily need anything more than six rounds for a for personal use if you want to go hunt and go hunting okay. but you know for weapons of war like right. an AR-15 or you know anything bigger than that specifically speaking I don't think you need I don't think you need anything like that for sport okay what about self-defense I mean don't you think one would do it one round one yeah don't you think one round would do it for self-defense yeah you better be a good shot well okay you better be a damn good shot for only one bullet in a gun. I mean, are, are, is more than one person going to rob your house? Absolutely. That okay. tends to happen, yeah. Uh, getting mugged by gangs even, walking around downtown Cleveland. It's not a very safe area. I would want several rounds in my firearm. Um, so, so you yeah. Think, you think more than one person is going to mug you at any given time? I think that is a possibility, yes. Well, so is lightning striking right now, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Okay. But we should be prepared. I mean, do you have a fire extinguisher in your home? Of course. The likelihood of you causing a fire is very low, isn't it? Not necessarily. Hmm. Okay. But why would you have that? You know, it's not likely that you're going to catch your... Do you know how to use an oven? Equating trying to put out a fire a fire in my house to somebody breaking in my house and me shooting them is not the same. That's getting too I think the to policy, the, 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 the premise is the same, is that you don't want more than one round in a bullet and in a firearm because you don't think... The likelihood of more than one person robbing me is, you know, it's, it's not there. You only need one. So what happens when I shoot someone that's trying to me and it misses and I only had that one chance to prevent myself from being or killed by somebody that is stronger than me, is bigger than me, he's about to hurt me. I only have one round. What if I miss? Am I just out of luck? That's, you're, you're adding two plus two and getting potato. They're two, two completely separate issues. Banning AR-15s, okay. although not necessarily the right answer, okay. it's the idea that we don't necessarily need access for everybody to have those things. Well, we don't have that currently. Not everybody has access well, and to I, that by the federal government, right. by state governments. Mm -hmm. uh, black market, yes, because gun control has shown not to work. Mm -hmm. So people do have access to that that shouldn't. Um, do you do you think it's okay to ban someone else's property with the use of an executive action by the force of the government? Because when they ban that, mm -hmm. who's going to come to your door and make sure you don't have those? 
government officials, police, with guns. Mm -hmm. Guns that we aren't allowed to have as civilians. How do we give that force and that, that power to the government to come and do that to us as private citizens? How is that okay? How do you stand for that? Nobody's specifically saying that anybody's going to come to your house and take guns. That's not what we're after. All we're asking for is safe ownership okay. by professionals or by people who are trained and know how to use these. People that know how to lock them up. Banning them specifically to people like myself, who I have no professional training with, with firearms. I should not be allowed to own that kind of weapon of war because I don't know how to use it. You keep saying weapon of war. What uh, standard and what characteristics of a firearm has to be there to be a weapon of war? Again, weapons that can be used to cause significant amounts of damage in very short amount of time. So cars? You're, again, two plus two is not potato. Cars kill more people than firearms every year. Are they weapons of war? That's, that, again, that's... I'm pretty not, sure no, people of a certain religion like to run people over with cars. <laughs> I would, I, listen, you're generalizing people and that's absolutely You're incorrect. generalizing gun owners, I would say. I, no, I said responsible gun ownership. I, I said specifically that I shouldn't have. I'm not, I'm not generalizing anything. You're mm. sitting here generalizing people <laughs> and trying to put words in my mouth. Okay. Because you think I'm going to answer a certain way. I'm not answering that. No, you did. And I think no. we got really good content. So thank you so much. Check us out at libertyhangout.org. Do you guys support free speech? Absolutely. All right. One, one for one, I guess. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. That guy right here is trying to add smarts and play smart, but he's actually dumb, if you ask me. And this is so surprising that people like this turn on to vote. They have the right to vote. People who act this stupid. Like, I'm surprised. Like, <laughs> people like him still have the right to vote. And he says Kamala Harris have a bright future. Like, it's, it's surprising to me because you are seeing her presence, how she's acting repeating her words over and over and over again just to make one sentence and since she has a bright future um, I'm very glad that he, he said the truth about her not making anything tangible any tangible um, words already any tangible impact already he said something like that at the beginning I think so aside that that was the only truthful thing he said and the only thing sensible thing that he said right here his answers are not just making sense at all because you see air officers are weapons of war so shotguns are not weapons of war. And you are like, any gun that we have to reload should not be needed. We only need six rounds. Like, does that make any sense? It makes no sense. Because that was exactly his statement. That is exactly what he meant. But he's refusing to accept it. It's exactly what he meant. He, has, he has, You see people who talk about this gun control a lot. They talk about we don't need guns, we don't need AR-15, we don't need AK-47. That they caused massive damage. Okay, if you had to call them, if you had to check stats, people who die out of car accidents in a year is more than people who have been killed with gun. And they just want to get take our second amendment away from us. The right of people able to protect themselves. This guy right here is just he's just he's trying to act smart. It's just that is exactly what the soldier says. Just you just have to play smart. Whereas it's acting dumb, if you ask me. He said we only need one bullet. One bullet to do it. What about if someone who is not good? Even if you are good, sometimes good people also miss. Then you are literally in danger. Even six bullets is not enough. Because if someone wants to bug your house, some people some people burglars who come bug into people's house, sometimes they are more than five. They are even more than six. So if you have six bullets. And you miss like three. Then it means you are dead. It's game over for you. Like once you just you're able to like kill shoot three people. And you you are not trying dead. The, the other three people are going to are going to catch you and kill you. So he he's just he's just using his own self as an instance. He doesn't need a gun. Literally the entire people don't need a gun. This people like this guy are very selfish. Very, very selfish. Like this dude right here, he's very, very selfish. He only thinks of himself. So immediately he knew it was Kamala Harris that said it. We don't need AR-15. He does support her once on an instant. Like, you don't, we need AR-15. If you ask me if I need it, I need it. He's saying it's only, if only when we have war. You are at war every single time, guy. Because there are moments that can occur on plan, like let's use it COVID for an instance. COVID is something that was 
not planned. It just happened. And everyone have to go total lockdown. You understand? So you need to defend yourself. That's why we have second amendment. A lot of people want to get rid of that, that policy. I don't know why they just want to get rid of it. We don't need AR-15 because it's causing more damage. I need it. We need it. America need it. Because there's some situation you will get to, you need a bigger gun, not just a shotgun. You need a bigger gun to defend yourself. You have, have not been through tough times or dangerous situation that he needs to defend himself more. Probably that's why he's talking like that. And he just don't want to support the interviewer. He just don't accept what the interviewer is saying is right. He's just against her. You're putting words in my mouth. You're putting words. The interviewer never put words in your mouth. She was just asking a question. This guy right here, he's, he's someone who is selfish. This is just a simple word I'm going to use. He's just selfish. Because as long as he's okay, he does not care about the rest. That is, that is exactly the definition he just... It's, it's very shocking to know that we live among people who are very ignorant as this boy. Is it total embarrassment? Like, if you ask me, is it, is it total embarrassment? <laughs> embarrassment. It's acting so naive and stupid. That is it. something that shocks me. It's, it's acting very, 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 very stupid. And dumb. And his girlfriend right there, she, but I don't know if it's his girlfriend or his wife. She, I'm sure she's rethinking herself. Like, am I, I trying to stand with this dude right here? Why is he acting so stupid? Because his statement, his way is, is acting clueless. This is this is crazy. I love the interview. I love how she handled him. And uh, she totally owned him right there. She totally owned him. In his mind, he feel like, ah, yeah, he's smart, he's clever. But he was acting stupid. And the interviewer owned him. Purely, like, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can, guys. This guy's an embarrassment to Democrats. Subscribe to our channel, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe.